All right, so welcome to part two Boost. of our, I'm gonna call it our dive bar series. Dive bar because series. we're making drinks that you could probably find in almost any dive bar you go to. So today, obviously we're doing London Dry Gin because the members mark London Dry Gin, I believe was like $13. $16.98. So that comes in at 29 cents an ounce. For this big bad boy. Yeah. Beef beater for a 1.75, you can find that for $29.99. That comes at 51 cents an ounce. Ford's Gin, I'm not really familiar with this. You kind of are, have some familiar with it. I've heard of it. Okay. I have not yet tried it. Okay. Uh, you can, they only make this, I believe, in $7.50, so that's at $29.99, and that comes in at $1.19 an ounce. A decent widespread of price points, mm -hmm. for sure. So let's go ahead and try, so you wanna start with the low end? Oh no, I'm spilling everywhere. 47.3%, so it's 94.6 proof. And it says, all it says on here is it's from the finest of botanicals. Finest. Interesting. Well, smells like gin. Smells like gin. Not, for being that high octane, which I know it's not that high, it's only 47. It doesn't really have a huge, I mean, there's ethanol, but it's not like overpowering. It, it smells like a gin. The juniper is forward, yeah. but it's not overwhelming. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty nice. It is yeah. nice. Again, like the, like the rum, it is kind of creamy. <laughs> yeah, it is. I don't know, we're all not mad about it. Yeah, it's fine. Like, it, it seems like it would do well in a lot of your standard gin cocktails, I think, because it's similar to Beef Eater, I think, like where it's not too mild. mild. It's not either one way. Kind of like a Tangeray is a little bit more juniper heavy. Yes. Or like Hendrix is more cucumber, cucumber and rose. rose. I'm not mad about the flavor of that at all. Mm -hmm. um, I've had much more expensive gins that I've liked a lot less. Why do we even need to keep trying Beef Eater? Because it's fun. 44. Yeah. So slightly lower ABV. It's a lot milder in smell than the member's mark. Beef eater smells more floral yeah. than it does, like obviously the juniper's there, but I do get more of a floral variety. I agree with that. Can I put my name, or can I put my finger on what that means right now? Mm -mm. Mm. There's a little bit of chamomile in there. Yeah. Mm. It just tastes so good. To me, it tastes more like fresh herbs mm -hmm. and botanicals than this one where it's probably flavors added. There's a creaminess again to it. Yep. Slight like vanilla. To me, it just like this one is, it kind of sings on the palate a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It just, it's more cohesive. That's why Beef Eater is our favorite is it's just a good standard. Ford's Gin, nine botanical recipe distilled in London. Bottle's kind of cool because it got like those like traveling Port, the passport passport stamps and stuff on there, which is kind of cool. Again, I like the bottle. It's a little different than other bottles yep. you see out there, so it kind of stands out on its own. Yes. It's actually kind of got this like... In, that night, yeah, know, it's nice to hold it. Yeah. yeah. I feel like for the price, this is like a... It's a good bottle to have if you want the aesthetics. Yep. Ooh. Black pepper. Yes. This one is sharper, I think. Mm -hmm. All of the flavor, or all of the same smells are there but they're just a little bit different ratios, you know? Kind of like sharp cheddar has its own little distinctiveness yeah. to it. I'm not saying it smells like sharp cheddar, I'm just saying in the... Oh. Ooh. I little... get some tea. Yeah, tea and pepper for sure. Yep, it is, again, floral. I think the, I think the piney flavor is definitely a backseat here. I agree. I do really like that. I, I like the tea is the first flavor I get. And it's not even like I'm tasting tea, it's more like the mouthfeel or yeah. the way, like the astringent mm -hmm. nature of it. I like it, it's yeah. good. That pepper tea kind of gives it a little bit of uniqueness that's different from other gins. Yes. I think they're all really good. Yes. They all have their, I think they all have the distinctive taste. Yes. And notes, and I think it's gonna be interesting in Tom Collins. So the Tom Collins, if you're not familiar, it's a classic cocktail, lemon juice, simple syrup, soda water. Very basic, nothing more to it. Yep. So they each should stand out completely different on their own. They yes. should hold up still. So. And you should be able to uh, find this in the local dive bar. Yeah. If they've got lemons. If that's the thing. They or have. lemon juice, I guess. Right. Concentrate might make it a little Someone, weird, but. But some dive bars are gonna just have sour mix and they're gonna use that. Okay. So let's go ahead and make a Tom Collins and see if Riley can tell the difference between these three gins.
very easy cocktail to make and should be super refreshing. I mean, why wouldn't it be super refreshing? In theory. Right. And kind of like, I guess a little lower ABV cocktail because it's only an ounce and a half of gin and then you, you know, make it longer by, which that means just you're adding more non-alcoholic modifiers to make a bigger volume drink. And all that soda water, lemon juice, and uh, simple syrup definitely lowers the ABV. So brunch cocktails are just a nice little first drink for the night. Hot, hot day. Hot day, Cold mowing drink. the lawn. While you're watching your wife mow the lawn on the porch. Hmm. Sweeter than I expected. Yeah, maybe back up to half an ounce of simple syrup. How much do you put in? One? Three-fourths. That's a lot. Well, it's just my standard three-fourths, three-fourths. Yeah. Mm. But I guess I should have went half. That, I taste mostly lemon and sugar. Yeah. It's I not a whole went, lot. Yeah. It's all right. My glasses at work, my pint glasses are bigger than this, so it hides more volume, so. Mm -hmm. That tastes different. Okay. I actually taste gin there. It. What do I get most? Mm. Just, I mean, I, I feel like the lemon is playing up the citrus notes in the gin. Not a whole lot of anything else. Slight floral notes, but... It's there in the background for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm okay. That one tastes the sweetest, but also has the most flavor from gin. Yeah. That makes sense? If you're not a fan of gin, might not like this one. If, I don't know, but it's I'm just I'm just saying like in a ballpark sense yeah. of statement. Then if you're it depends on why you don't like gin. Right. But like these two, the gin is so subtle. Slightly there, but it kind of tastes like flat sprite. Yeah. Like these two taste at least a little more balanced with the gin and the Right. So I still probably just do half ounce of simple. Mm -hmm. That one would be like for if you don't like this version, then you just might not like light refreshing cocktails because like the gin's there, but it is so just works so well with right. the with the lemon juice and the soda water. It's just right. I think it's going to be in bottle order because I do feel like the creaminess in this one might have been what loses the gin mm. in the cocktail. In this one, let, don't lock it in yet. I want to. Yeah, I'm good there. Which one do you like the most before you chose that one? The last one. I mean, I like the last one too. Mm -hmm. I think this is close. Yep. Just slightly too sweet. Slightly too sweet. I think again, if we did a half ounce, I think that it would be very similar. Yep. Not in taste wise, but like my, Palette. I like it. Yeah. And this one, I don't, I didn't either just do a quarter ounce. You got one right. Was it this one? You got the beef eater right. I got the beef eater right? Yeah. Holy cow. So our favorite <laughs> one. <laughs> is the members mark again. Oh, wow. <laughs> so here's my hypothesis on this. Right. This one was higher ABV than the other two, was it not? 45, yeah. 47.3, and 44. 44. Yeah. I think the flavors just come through more because it's got higher, higher octane. octane. Interesting. <laughs> Wild, guys. Wild. <laughs> so interesting that, again, we both like the, the cheapest one wins for flavor profile. Mm-hmm. And again, this is not saying it's not a good gin, just with this specific drink, with this specific ratios, yes. it just doesn't hold up. So, And I feel like now that I know mm -hmm. hindsight bias and confirmation right. bias, well, my, my hypothesis as to why that's the case is because this one tastes so much like tea. Mm. The sweetener... It's killing all of it. Yeah, it's like... Masking all of it. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. I get that for sure. I don't know. Maybe. Right. Maybe I'm just talking out my ass. Who knows? Well, you're probably doing both. All right. Well, this has been fun. Week two of our dive bar cocktails. Yep. High, medium, and low. So go ahead and keep watching. Check out last week's where we did rum on a Cuba Libre. Good episode. And we got, what do we got coming up? We have tequila next. And we are going to do a modified Paloma. <laughs> Very modified. So... Cheers, everyone. Cheers.